بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم His Eminence Sayyid Munir Al Khabaz Hafidullah several of the followers of Ahmad Al Qati who is titled Al Yamani have promoted a clip of yours in which you say that the Imam married a lady from Egypt and that he has offspring from her so what is your comment on that the name of God and the prayers and peace be upon the prophet Muhammad and his infallible family and after Allah says do not pursue that of which you have no knowledge surah al isra Verse 36 I warn my faithful brothers of what this misguided group is doing by manipulating and exploiting words in order to corrupt the belief of the believers and cast doubts in their firmly rooted beliefs regarding the awaited savior Ajjal Allahu Ta'ala Faraj Sharif a couple of months back I mentioned the answer to this doubt on my personal website and I repeat the same again lineage is not proven in the sharia by the claims of a lady or others rather it is established through two just witnesses or something famous that leads to personal satisfaction and there is a difference of opinion about whether it lineage can be established through the words of a genealogist if it doesn't lead to satisfaction as for what i mentioned in the sacred month of muharram a few years ago throughout the 10 lectures i expounded on the topic of imam al hujja hajjul allah ta'ala farajuh al sharif and from amongst those lectures one was about proving the birth and existence of imam al hujja hajjul allah ta'ala farajuh al sharif in which i mentioned the words of the genealogists of the ahl sunnah that prove his birth because they sunnis accept the validity hujjia of the words of the genealogists after that questions came to us on the website that the sunnis are arguing against the shiites that if the imam had been born he would have had a wife and offspring we see nothing of that for him that is why in the symposium question and answer session after the ashra i dealt with this point which is charging the sunnis based on what is in their books the summary of which is a group of your scholars have acknowledged that the mahdi married and had offspring so if the proof of his existence is that he ought to have a wife and children then your books mention this and so what is your argument to reject his existence after your books explicitly mention this point I gave an example of this with the jafra tribe in egypt known as al ashraf to which the well known sunni scholar Taqi al-Din al-Husni al-Hanbali is linked to as was stated by Ibn Imad al-Hanbali in his book Shadarat al-Dhahab fi akbar min al-Dhahab 7188 similarly other books also discuss the marriage of Imam al-Mahdi ajjal Allah ta'ala farajuh al-Sharif such as the book Al-Haq al-Jali by Muhammad Tahir Kharashi al-Adawi The point is that what I mentioned in that clip is only a response to the Sunnis with what is in their books so it is only a matter of binding them to their sources and debating against them with what they wrote I mentioned it in an exaggerated form as if it is an undoubted matter because the method of debate requires that and the art of rhetoric is not hidden from his people otherwise I do not believe in this lineage at all and i repeat with a categorical denial that i do not believe that he ajjal allah ta'ala farajuh sharif has offspring yes there is no objection to him having a wife or close companions on the condition that they do not openly claim that as stated in the narration of imam al sadiq alayhi salam and he is surrounded by 30 as to not be lonely but possibility is one thing and actuality is another thing because actuality requires conclusive evidence and we were commanded in the letter to al samri fourth naib in minor occultation from the imam ajjal allah ta'ala farajuh sharif not to believe the one who claims to have appointed mushahada regardless of whether they claim to be a wife a son or someone else what is required in every belief is the acquisition of certainty a conjecture does not avail anything of the truth it is also added here that there are those who have denied the lineage of al ashraf in egypt going back to the imam and say that they go back to jafar the son of imam al hadi alayhi salam as in the book al usul fi duriyat 
Al-Bad'at Al-Batul by Anas Al-Katbi Al-Hassani and Al-Sharif Hassan Al-Fasi wa Dhuryatuhu by Mansur Abu Dina. In conclusion, I reiterate to my faithful brothers that they should be completely wary of the ploys and tricks of the group. You have to be firm and steadfast and be vigilant in all matters. And Allah is the guide to the right path. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad.